how to create amazing displacement effects using just a very basic piece of text in Affinity Photo. Create some text, any text. What you need to do then is to go up here, layer, and down to rasterize. So layer and rasterize. Now what you can do is you can apply effects to it. So just go to filters and go down to say blur and Gaussian blur. Just apply a little bit of blurring. You can set the radius to five or six and click apply. Then go to file and export and export it as a PNG format file. I would suggest go to area and use selection area. So you just get that word type or any word, of course, you create. And then simply export it as a PNG file. That's the key thing. So once you've got that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this type. Just go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And you can apply it like that. And resize it to say that position. You can size it in any way you want, maybe change the angle, up to you. But what you can then do is you can go over here to the layers panel and you can remove the word type, simply deselect the layer by just clicking here. I'm just gonna create a very small type design and you can see it there. What you can then do is go to layer and rasterize. So rasterize it all and you now see you've got a pixel layer. With that pixel layer selected, go up to filters and you can go down here to distort and down to displace. Select that. Now you could use a layer below. I always find the best result is load map from file. You can change that of course. So load map from file. And I'm just going to use the file that I've created earlier, test.png. And you can see the distortion straight away there. And you can modify the strength. And you can see as you increase that, you can see the result of that. You can also, of course, change the scale to fit if you want. And I'm just going to do that, set it to there. And you can also change the load method as well. I think very subtle differences, to be honest. And click apply. And you can see the result of your displacement. So you can create literally thousands of distortions using this approach. But what you can then do is, of course, you can go to filters, apply additional effects. So go to filters, blur, and again, Gaussian blur, just slight, very subtle blur. Doesn't have to be a huge blur, but maybe one, one or two. Click apply, just prefer to work with a slightly blurred image and then use, again, that displacement. And you can go to filters and you go down to distort and again, displace. And do exactly the same as before. Simply just go down here, load map from file, click there, test.png, and you can see now you've got that design. And you can then change that again, change the strength. And as you do that, now unfortunately there's no way dragging it down different directions. I wish they would add an angle feature to this. This would that would make it brilliant. But unfortunately, all you've got is the strength. So you can do that, apply that again. You can always change the scale to fit and then a different result and click apply again. Now, once you've got this, what you can do, of course, you could have created different text files, different designs, but also you can go to filters and you can repeat displacement map. So apply that again, even though it does actually say displace as the filter, it is actually says displacement map there. And you can see you can apply it multiple times to create this distortion of your text. And of course, you could create any text. It doesn't have to be a pattern file. It could be anything. It could be a gradient design. It could be other pattern designs. It could be images, but they can all be modified using this approach and using this effect to subtly distort your images. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much. Bye.